If you don't understand how a website actually helps a business, then it doesn't matter how good you ever get at anything technical. You'll never be able to charge what you're worth, and you'll never be able to properly sell your services. You have to understand what's in it for them. Why should they pay you versus anyone else? And the crazy thing about this is most web designers never sit down and actually ask why does a business need a website? Now look, before we get started here, let me ask you, who would you trust more? I'm gonna show you a few different businesses. This is the first website that I found. All I did was go to Google and just type in landscaping Las Vegas, clicked on a bunch of different websites and I picked a few. Here's one that I found. This has their business name, has their phone number, and then as you scroll down, it just has their services listed with a form and then a freaking logo that looks like this. A one-page website, no about us, no projects, no before and afters, or would you trust someone like this that has basically an image that just says info at their business, you have their phone number, and then as you scroll down, they have a few images that showcases their work and that showcases some of the stuff they can do, but it's still not exactly good enough. This is a third company that I found that is much better. As soon as you land on this website, by the way, I don't like these colors, but I think it helps them get way more customers. As soon as you land on it, you just trust the company way more. You see all their staff, right? You see all of these links and these drop downs. You know exactly what services they provide. You go under about us. You can see that they have a meet our team page. You can look at the different staff members. You can see that they're hiring. You can see different testimonials. And even at the bottom, even just having this like text us link already just makes you trust them. And as you scroll down, right, they have their Google reviews all looks good. And it just looks like they have a lot of content. It seems like they even have their pricing, which is kind of crazy because a lot of people don't ever show their pricing in this industry. Now, also as you scroll down, okay, this is the most Las Vegas thing I've ever seen. I guess these guys show up at your house freaking shirtless, which is hilarious. But anyways, so I guess with these guys, they'll do your lawn and they'll do your wife. So at the end of the day, who would you trust more? This person that has nothing on their website, no proof, like this person might show up to your house. Now, again, I don't know anything about these businesses, but after you pay this guy, he might not even show up. There's no about us. You don't see any photos. You just have no idea, especially if you're gonna spend four or $5,000. These guys clearly have a team in place. So let's go over to my magical whiteboard. This is a website that I drew. Let's say it's for a client. As you can see, I'm an artist. Now, as they advertise their business anywhere, right? Landscapers and all these local businesses advertise on similar methods. A lot of them do yard signs, right? So they put a sign on someone's yard and where does that go? That redirects them back into the website. Some of them might run a TV commercial. So how does that work? Where does that TV commercial point to? It points to a number and it points back to the website. Now, and some of them might even hand out flyers or maybe they hand out posters. Again, where does that go? It goes back into the website. So the website is the central hub of everything. When people find them on Google, what ends up happening, right? They go to their website. Maybe it's Google My Business. Maybe they are on Yelp. Maybe they're on Facebook. Maybe they're on Instagram. Anywhere that they are, it goes back into here. Or maybe they're running paid advertising online. Maybe they're running Google ads or they're running Facebook ads. Now, in my opinion, if you're running Google ads or Facebook ads or these online campaigns, you should be running it to a funnel. So we've tested this and the ironically, the best funnel that we've seen that works really well is to a landing page that is extremely simple. And all we have at the top is just their logo like this. So people can't click on all the other links like they can right here. Here. It makes them stay on that page. They have their logo. We typically just have a survey right here with like eight or nine questions to really pre-qualify people. And then we have a timer that counts down on when the offer expires. So offer could be like, you know, 10% off or whatever. And we usually put that right above the, um, the form right here. And by having this timer that expires, we've noticed we got way more leads and customers for our clients. But anyways, that is all beside the point here. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course 
because of the results that we get from people and the support that we give. I'm going to show you A to Z how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. No matter what they do in their business, they need to have a nice website and you need to portray this value to your customer. Hey, you can spend all the money you want in the world on radio ads and TV, on Yelp, on any platform, whether you're a dentist, chiropractor, doesn't matter. If you're on Instagram and then people go off of your Instagram, all the work you put in won't matter if your website is not good and people genuinely don't trust you. This website should pre-sell any of its visitors on the actual business. It should show them testimonials. It should show them before and afters. It should show them tons of social proof, show them their team. So by the time that someone becomes interested in a service and they just call them, they should be pre-sold. It should be as simple as just booking in the appointment. And the end all be all is this website is meant to make your client freaking more money. I can't tell you how many of these websites I saw while doing research for this that don't even have a single phone number at the top of the website. How is someone going to know who to call or what number they should dial? This is a trap a lot of web designers fall into is they make it look so beautiful, so amazing with hero images and videos and this and that, but it doesn't actually mean they're going to get more more customers. So make sure that your incentive is aligned with what the actual business owner wants. Okay, next is a retargeting. So what we can do is take all of the traffic that lands on this website from any of the streams that we have here and we can retarget them. Meaning once they're sitting on social media, on their phone, they're sitting on the toilet, they're watching funny cat videos, what we can do is show this person your client's website once again, right? So they're scrolling, they're seeing images, 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 or texts from their friends. And then what do they see? They see an ad from your client. And this is very, very cheap to do. You can have a cheap five, $10 budget on your client's behalf and then forward that back into the website. So even if your client is not the biggest business in town, they can have this omnipresent approach in their company to where as soon as someone lands on their site, it tracks them and it shows them YouTube ads or Google ads or Facebook or Instagram ads. And now your client is appearing everywhere. So if someone is interested in this service because they came in from a yard sign or from a flyer, they're now going to see that business everywhere, all over social media. The next thing it can do is it can help your clients qualify its leads. Sometimes your clients are getting calls that they can't even service, meaning they just don't provide those services. So what you can do is clearly either list that on the website. Instead of having a normal contact form, you can have a drop down on that same form that lists out all the different services that your client actually provides. But if you're more advanced, I suggest you go with the survey option. Then you can collect way more details from the client. And it just seems to convert better for some reason. Look, I'm going to show you one of our websites right here. This is a actual client website. I just changed the phone numbers and addresses and all the details so I can actually show it to you. This is for a kitchen and bathroom remodeling client. So as soon as you land on the website, it just looks like a higher end client. We have the phone number, very easy to see. As you scroll up and down, it sticks there in the bottom left. Hey there, have a question, text us here. How much confidence does a website visitor get when they know that they can text your client? Now, even though this is literally just a simple contact form and not much more than that, it still adds a lot of social proof. Then as you scroll down, we just have nice features that make it look high end testimonials, right? Tons of those. You can handpick your favorite ones or automatically pull testimonials from Google. We have different services, inspiration gallery, and then we have a nice contact form with testimonials next to it. So that's a brief look and not even to mention all the different service pages that we have, different galleries, the before and afters that we have on this website, which leads into the next point. You want to make sure you establish a lot of credibility 
on this website for your clients. If a chiropractor has no pictures of himself or his staff and you're going in and you have to crack your neck, you at least want to be greeted with a smile. You want to be confident that they're not going to break your neck. You want to be confident they're not going to injure you or hurt you or make any of your symptoms worse. Same thing for a dentist. You don't want to walk in and be greeted by gloomy faces and feel like something in here is shady. You don't want them to start breaking your teeth. You want to be greeted with smiles and you want to be in a warm and comfortable environment considering that it might even hurt. And a lot of people have a fear of the dentist. So no matter what niche or what industry you're in, make sure you elicit the right emotion of that website visitor. If there's a business and it's impossible to find their phone number, it's impossible to reach out to them, their contact form is hidden, there's no about us page, there's no pictures of staff, you don't even know if they're real. It's hard to trust them. And lastly, the website is needed for SEO, that's search engine optimization. If your client wants to be found on Google, whether someone is looking for that service in their area or maybe they're just looking for that specific business, right? If I referred you to someone that's ABC landscaping and then you Google them and you just can't find them, how will you even find their number? Sure, I can give it to you, but you'll probably still look them up and do your due diligence if you're gonna spend thousands of dollars on someone. So your client wants to appear when someone's trying to Google them. And I've even seen in some situations that competitors appear when you Google that specific business and you want to help them out of that situation. Now, sadly, with our templates, we don't have any shirtless guys that are providing services like this company right here. So you're going to have to build that out yourself. But if you want our templates imported into your own account, you can sign up to Go High Level and start a free 30-day trial using the link in the description. If you want to see me get clients live, you can also check out this video right here.